Okay, so this is my old Fox DPS, the OG shock on my Meta. Oh, good times. And this is my DPX2. I recently got this shock and I've been testing it and we're almost dialed. And now I'm gonna show you something in there. Okay, so if you look inside the DPS here, you'll see it has this black volume spacer inside. And I like volume spacers because I like a very progressive shock. Now here you can see the DPX also has a volume spacer, but it's this tiny pipsqueak thing. And this is just really not working for me. Now, I can't use the space inside the DPS inside the DPX2 because if you look here, you'll see the shaft size are different diameters. The DPS uses a 9mm shaft and the DPX2 uses half an inch shaft, which translates to 12.7mm. But this means the spaces don't interwork, you can't switch them around. So you have to order different spaces for a DPX2 versus a DPS. But I'm not going to order spices because they're expensive as shit. But I do have a lot of spices for DPS shocks like this one and this one in here already. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try to modify this one to fit the... Okay, so first we're going to remove the smaller spacer from the DPS and go from there. Okay, so here's that dilapidated pipsqueak tiny fucking volume space I just removed so I'm gonna measure this now so then we can find out what drill bit I need to use so that I can drill this one and then obviously make it fit okay so it says 17.24 I don't know if you can see that let me get some light um, so we're gonna try to find a 17 millimeter drill bit let's see what happens okay so I couldn't find a 17 millimeter drill bit so I just took a Dremel and like a uh, I don't know what you call it but I just like dremeled it out to about 16.8 it's a bit ugly and I tried to clean it up a bit but it's a bit ugly but it is 16.8 so let's see what happens um, this created a massive mess though so I'd recommend getting a job but if you can okay so if you look here the opening on this space is a lot bigger than the DPS shaft because the DPX uses a half inch shaft and the DPS uses a 9 mm shaft so we won't physically get this one over the shaft yet so even if the hole's correct, we first need to take a hacksaw and cut a tiny bit out here so we can get it over the shock shaft. Okay, let's see if she fits. Okay, it's in. Um, but what I first want to do now is put it in the hand diner and check if we have clearance issues. So remember to Move your spacer and o-ring down. Just gonna grab it here with a pick. Okay, move that down because that's how the shock's gonna be. Okay, so here you can see we're in the hand diner. The spacer is here. And what I just wanna do is I wanna cycle the shock once. So you can see there, we have no interference with the spacer. So now I'm confident I can put the air can back on and I can go right like this. And I don't know if you're going to be able to test it like this, but I'd recommend you make sure there's not going to, not going to be any interference. Okay, so just in case it's not vividly clear, this completely voids your warranty. If you do this and somehow your shock explodes or you fuck something up, you cannot hold Fox liable for this. So do this at complete own risk. If you fuck it up, the shock may explode, you may die. It's, it's yeah, it's what this shit is about. <laughs> Um, safety warnings though, um, this is the fourth largest spacer in the DPS range and I specifically chose this spacer and because I ride at a certain pressure so as soon as you add volume spaces the end pressure at the stroke is a lot higher or progresses more, this is what progression is. Um, the DPS has a rated range of 350 PSI so if you ride, if you want to do what I did today either you make sure first of all if you ride at above 250 psi pressure don't fucking do it secondly if you ride under that feel free to do it but only use the fourth larger spacer and smaller don't put the larger spacer in the dps range in the dpx2 and that's pretty much it try it for your try it and see how it works for you